Hello beautiful people, in this episode we are going to be refactoring our code to talk about a new approach of passing data from a parent component down to a child component. So you're what, 14 episodes into this series, you're probably wondering how could we build anything better than we've already built. Well by the end of this video, we're actually going to have the exact same thing. What? What are you talking about Caleb? Why would we do that? Well, because we want to talk about a new approach and we want to build the same application using this new approach. It's nothing major. The main change we're going to have is instead of passing data down multiple layers, we're actually going to pass components down. So for our example, we only have three components that are chained. We have app.js, employee.js, and then edit employee.js. And we have a function that we're passing down all the way down to the edit employee. Well, that's three layers. You might be working in a more complex application that's several layers nested. And in that situation, you're never going to know where things are coming from and you're just going to be confused. So in that situation, you might want to try this new approach, which is to actually pass a component down as a property. So might be confusing. You might be like, what are we talking about? But let's just jump into the code and try to make it happen and get the same exact result on the application. So this is what we currently have, and we have the ability to update an employee, type in new information, and hit update. The way this works is if we go back to our code inside of app.js, we are passing this update employee. Scrolling up, you can see this is a function which extends our hard-coded list right now. Eventually, we're wanting to work with permanent data, but for now, we're just trying to get used to the front-end stuff. So this is passed to the update employee prop, inside of employee, it's passed again down to the edit employee component. So what we want to do instead is we want to define the edit employee component inside of app.js and pass that to the employee. We want to do that for every single employee, so we're going to do it right here. So we'll just say something like const edit employee, and this is actually going to be set to an instance of that component. So it's going to look like edit employee. Now you can use where we invoked edit employee earlier as a template on what data needs passed. So we need the ID, the name, the role, and then the function. So let's go ahead and actually just copy this edit employee because it's going to be pretty similar and we'll go and replace that eventually. So we'll go in here and we'll paste that right here. Save and this is our new edit employee. The difference here is we're no longer going to be invoking update employee from props because this is defined directly in the same file, which is right here. All right, so we have a component. What we can do now is instead of passing this function through the employee down to the edit employee, we can just pass the edit employee as an entire component. So we will change update employee to edit employee and change this to edit employee as well. So now what's being passed is this variable here, which is a component. You may think that the syntax or the way of doing this is a little strange, but if you remember when I introduced JSX, they gave an example of this as well, where they actually assigned what looks like HTML to a variable. They can then use that variable anytime they want to refer to this H1. We're doing the same thing. We're just using a custom component called edit employee. And now that we're passing this component edit employee, all we have to do is go into employee and we're going to replace this section of code. What we want to do is we want to refer to props dot edit employee. Hitting save, checking out our code, we'll go back to react app. We have a problem, edit employee is not defined, must have typed it out wrong. So I think this is actually lowercase e. Dude, I screwed up big time, wow. All right, so what else? I think this needs imported. So let's scroll up to the top and it's gonna be pretty similar to the add employee. It'll just be edit employee from components edit employee. This other issue regarding props, this was originally defined an employee, so that's why we have props here. We have to replace this with the instance of the employee we're talking about, which is defined as this parameter here. So we're going to say employee.id 
employee.name and employee.role. At this point, I believe everything is working. The first iteration, just as an example, will grab that first employee. It'll grab the ID, the name, the role, and it'll grab that update employee function. It's going to make that component, and then that's the component going to be passed to that edit employee. Save, check out the site. We should be able to go in here. Let's do a quick refresh just to get a clean state. And you can just put something in there. It doesn't really matter. You can see it works exactly the same way. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple change, but this uh, concept can be expanded. So if you design a component where you expect people to just pass in some section of code, this is how you could design that. You know, if I designed a web application to, let's say, split the panels left and right, you could just take a component for what's displayed on the left and a component for what's displayed on the right, and you would expect a component to be passed in and you could design the uh, structure component to be very general. That's all I have in this video. Hopefully it gave you a new way of thinking about things. In the upcoming video, I'm going to be trying to place a banner up here at the top because I want to get onto navigation, so the ability to switch pages and talk a little bit about how you can build a template for your application. So that's our goal over the next couple of episodes. So definitely stay tuned for the next one.